Hi there, so today we're gonna learn how to make a C++ delay inside Unreal Engine 4. Let's go! So we're inside Unreal Engine uh, in the project uh, for my game that I'm currently developing. And the goal for this tutorial will be to create an actor that will spawn a particle system after, let's say, uh, 5 seconds after the game has started. Uh, so we will first create this actor in Blueprint and then we will recreate this actor in C++ uh, to show the differences and how to replicate the Blueprint inside C++ in Unreal. Uh, so the first step is to create the actor in Blueprint. So let's create the Blueprint actor based on the actor class and we're going to call it uh, delay actor BP. And let's open it. Uh, so it will be very simple. We will use the begin play node that triggers at the start of the game. We're going to call a delay of five seconds, and then we will directly spawn our particle system we are going to spawn uh, an explosion why not and we are going to spawn it uh, at the actor location so that's it a uh, very simple uh, blueprint actor uh, Let's see how it looks inside the game. So we just have to wait five seconds. And there we go. Beam explosion. Um, so now we're going to recreate that in C++. So now we are going to create the C++ class which will be the, the equivalent of the blueprint class that we have just created. Let's create a C++ class um, still based on the actor class. And let's call it delay actor. So it's going to take a little while. So I'll see you when the um, compilation is done. So we're inside Visual Studio with our delay actor class. And I'm going to show you two ways to, um, to call uh, a method with a delay in C++. Um, so both of them will use the, um, the timer manager, which is provided globally by, uh, by the engine. Uh, so we first need to include this dependency. And I've written it on the side there because I can't remember it from top of my head it should be that so uh, we've included that so we are going to um, um, call this logic in the begin play function same as the blueprint one um, so the first method is to, um, to call a C++ fun function of the same class. So for that, we need to declare a function that will contain the, the action that we want uh, to call after the delay has ended. So in our case, we want to spawn the, um, the particle system. So for that, we need to create a U function uh, in order for the engine to um, to know where the to locate the function using uh, the reflection system that Unreal Engine use, um, so let's uh, define it as a, a void, and let's say a spawn emitter. Oops. There we go. So that's our function. So let's declare the, um, the definition for the function. 
And in order to spawn an emitter in uh, C++, we need to include a utility class which contain quite a lot of um, useful function. And it is the gameplay statics class. And using this class, we can call our spawn emitter at location. Um, so we need to provide uh, three mandatory parameters. The first one is the wall, which if we provide uh, this actor, it's fine because it is contained in the world. Uh, the second one is a particle system. So we could uh, directly reference this particle system using a path, but I find this uh, not really clean. So another way to do that is to declare a property that will be um, exposed in the blueprint that will override this C++ class. So we will be able to set the particle system inside the blueprint. For that, we need to define it with um, edit defaults only. I think it's that. And uh, we're going to provide a category. Let's call it setup. And um, and it will be a U particle. Actually, I don't remember exactly what's the, the class of the particle. Which will, will initialize it as a null pointer. It's always safer to, to do that. Uh, so by doing that, and by uh, setting it inside the blueprint, we will have a particle system uh, set. So we can use this one. And finally, the transform. For that, we will use the current actor transform. Oops. There we go. And that's it. What's the problem? Oh. Maybe I've forgotten one. No. What's the problem? Oh yeah, I think it needs the world. So yeah, actually I thought uh, giving the reference of the actor is enough, but uh, we need to provide the world, which is available on all uh, um, C++ uh, actor. Uh, so the spawn emitter function is done. Now we need to call it at the start of the game with a delay. Um, for that, we need to um, use the global time manager, which is available on the world on the world um, the world reference. There it is. And we are going to call the set timer function. Um, so what do we need to provide? We first need to provide a timer handle. Um, so this is a, a structure that will be used by the engine to keep track of the function that needs to be called with a delay. So we need to define one. And we can directly give it there. Then we need to pass, actually, as you can see, there are uh, several implementation of the method. We're going to use the one where we provide the reference, the, um, reference of the, the function, uh, which the syntax is a little bit complicated. Oops, sorry. There we go. We just passed the, the function reference there. 
and um, the last one is uh, the delay which is five seconds and that's it so now our function should be called um, five seconds after the start of the game so we're back inside the engine um, let's go back to our blueprint actor so now we're going to override the C++ class and we're going to reference the explosion uh, so that should be enough uh, one side note is uh, I did not mention it earlier but you got to be careful when using um, uh, when referencing rather our um, asset with a hard reference like that uh, because as soon as the delay actor will be loaded inside the memory it will it will um, also load all the the assets that are referenced by this actor so if you are referencing a load of actor like that and if you are uh, doing a larger project it might uh, cause problem uh, of memory one last thing is to uh, disable the blueprint logic because this uh, is what we have just created inside the C++ class let's put back our actor inside the game and let's see if it works Boom, it's working. Uh, so nice, it's working in C++. Now I'm going to show you uh, the second way to call the C++ um, method that I've told you about. So let's go back inside uh, Visual Studio. So we are back inside Visual Studio. Um, and let's see how to do it another way. So you might wonder why. Uh, doing it another way while this method is working fine um, well it's because using this method this uh, method with a reference of the function we are forced to declare a new function uh, just to execute a, a single line of code and it might not be the best especially when we have a larger code base um, and there is a load of functions so declaring again a new function just for a single line of code that we are going to run once is not uh, worth it usually um, so the second way is to use lambda so what is a lambda? A lambda is um, kind of an anonymous function that will uh, contain a block of code that will be run once and it allows us to run this block of code uh, without declaring uh, a new function but just declaring the block of code inside the begin play over there so we first need to use um, a new C++ uh, structure which is a timer delegate and it will um, contain the, the lambda that we're going to bind to it so we're going to call it uh, delegate and what we're going to do is to bind the lambda to the delegate so the syntax is a little bit weird um, oh no, I've made a mistake it's not square bracket, it's curly brackets there we go uh, and inside this lambda we can um, put the code that we want to execute so in our case it is this line I forgot there we go uh, so our delegate now contains the, the lambda we first need to remove that and put the delegate instead uh, then the delay and um, the last parameter is um, a boolean that we use to tell that we don't want to loop um, to loop the function so that it does not trigger frequently uh, 
but just once. We can now test it inside the game to see if it works the same way as uh, the previous code. So we are back inside Unreal Engine. Uh, we can again drop the actor inside the level and let's see if it's working. Just got to wait a little bit and boom, it's working. Nice. So that's it about this tutorial on C++ Delay inside Unreal Engine. Um, if you want to have more tutorial on C++, uh, you can tell it in the comment and I will uh, try to do more. Uh, in the meantime, I'm also considering posting more video uh, about the game I develop on the, on the side project. So if you are interested in that, you can subscribe and uh, follow me on social media to keep being updated. And that's it for today, so see you another time, bye.